Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample coming to you from Coors Field in Denver for my first of two games that I'm going to see here this week. And of course this place is known for the thin air, it's a mile high, the balls really carry, lots of home runs, but I'm actually going to be thinking less about home runs and more about commemorative balls. It's the Rockies' 25th anniversary, they're one of several major league teams this year that are using special balls at home. So that's my goal for the two days here, to snag at least one of those. The Giants are in town, they also have commemorative balls. Not sure if they've brought any with them on the road, hopefully, I guess we'll find out soon. And it's just a beautiful day, nice weather, there should be batting practice, which is always fun here, so let's do it. All right, here we go inside the stadium. This place is glorious, and I really love this spot. Right behind the outfield wall and left field, there's this big walkway here, plenty of space to spread out, but when you are here, you have to compete against some of the regulars. And if you watch Sports Center, if you watch a lot of Rockies highlights on TV, you're gonna see these guys catching home runs. There's Dan, who's always out here in his maroon cap. There's Robert with the big white beard. I think combined, those guys have probably gotten about 150 home runs during games. Now as for me, I made a pretty slick catch on a home run lunging way over the wall in left field. I think it was hit by Noel Cuevas, but I'm not sure. And then I got another ball, thanks to my buddy Liam, who lent me his cup trick. He was gonna go for that ball himself, but he was really nice about it. He wanted me to pad my stats for the video. So he's already gotten a few himself. So off to a pretty good start. The Rockies really didn't take that much BP, less than one full group after the gates opened. I can see the Giants are out there now. They're playing catch, so they should be starting up pretty soon. Well, Giants BP got off to a hot start today. I got a couple of baseballs from them out in left center field in their first group. One of them was an Andrew McCutcheon home run, caught that on the fly. And then I got a toss up from Tony Watson, which I admit was kind of cheap. He tossed it to some kids right above me who bobbled it down into the walkway. So I picked it up, handed that one to them. Had another home run knocked out of my glove. Really should have caught that one, that's kind of frustrating. And then things just cooled down. I went up to the second deck in right field for their last group. I thought Brandon Belt was hitting, but I don't think he was, so there, there wasn't any action happening up there. Went down to the lower level and I had all kinds of space, but then the Giants jogged off the field about two minutes later. So BP kind of seemed like it ended abruptly today. And I don't know, four balls is not bad, but I feel like it could have been so much better. And if you want to just swing around here quickly, I'm standing out here in the right field corner. You can see the hand-operated scoreboard right behind me. That's really cool. There are not too many stadiums that still do that. Coors Field, man, it's, it's not that old, only 23 years or so, but it just feels like a classic ballpark. Among the many nice features here at Coors Field are the bullpens. I really like the configuration out in right center field. Interesting to get a bird's eye view where you can see both starting pitchers warming up at the same time. I was lurking more on the Giants side at first. Nice look at Buster Posey, Nick Hundley, and of course Jeff Samarja was warming up. You know, if he misfires a pitch out there in the visitor's bullpen, that ball bounces way into the rocks, the fountain, it's like a forest out there. So kind of a weird setup. Now Jake McGee, a Rockies reliever, tossed me a ball right before the game out near the Rockies bullpen. That was my fifth of the day, and all five of them were just regular balls. So, before the game, I came down here to the third base side, I was chatting with some people in several different sections, and somewhere in there, I put my phone in a cup holder, and I misplaced it, and I forgot where I was, and I had to spend quite some time looking for it. Now, also during that time, I got the ball that ended the first inning. It was an Ian Desmond ground out to Kelvin Tomlinson, so Giants first baseman Brandon Belt ended up with the ball. He jogged across the field toward the dugout and tossed it right to me, right on the money, and it has a pristine 25th anniversary commemorative logo, and it's interesting. The word Colorado is in the tiniest font I've ever seen on a baseball. You almost can't even read it, so that's kind of interesting. But yeah, for right now, deep breath. This is my sixth baseball of the day, and I'm hoping number seven is going to be a home run. I'm going to head out to the outfield now, so come on, let's do it. We 
are in the top of the seventh inning. Rockies are on top six to three. And just a few minutes ago in the sixth inning, the Giants hit two home runs pretty deep into the bleachers. Buster Posey hit the first one. Evan Longoria hit the second. And on that Posey home run, I just paused for a split second to figure out where it was going. And then I realized, hey, I can run up the stairs and maybe make a play on it. Didn't quite get there in time. I was within about 10 feet of that ball rattling around on the ground. So pretty fun just to have a chance at it. And, you know, there were no home runs hit in this game until I came out here to left field. And then they hit two. So, I don't know, maybe that's a good sign. But, got all this space. If they hit him, I'll catch him. It's a final here at Coors Field. Rockies 11, Giants 4. Kind of a wild finish to this game. 27 hits combined, including four home runs. And you just saw two of them right there. So close, especially the last one. It was Evan Longoria's second homer of the night. It barely went over my head and ricocheted back at me really fast. And it happened to hit the heel of my glove and then squirt out to some other guy standing nearby. So I was completely stunned, just kind of like, what the hell just happened? So pretty frustrating, but pretty exciting at the same time. I got six baseballs total, gave most of them away, but they all count for my lifetime total, which is now 10,369. And I gotta give a special thanks to Liam. Come on over here. The man who helped me get a baseball earlier with the cup trick and helped me find the phone. He actually asked me before he found it, what will you do for me if I find your phone? And I was like, dude, I'll put you in the closing of the video. We'll pimp your Instagram. So it's time to do that. Tell everybody what it is. Underscore Liam, underscore Jeffrey. You can see it right there on the screen. Everybody check him out, show him some love. He showed me some love tonight. He's the real MVP here at Coors Field. So that's it for now. You'll be here tomorrow. Yes, I will. I'll be here tomorrow. Thanks for watching this one and stay tuned for the next one.